have we got here? With Dr. Day. I'm here at the very top of the Valley of the Eagle, just south of Burke. Great place to see one of my favourite Australian creatures, the wedge-tailed eagle, found throughout the Murray-Darling Basin. This is amazing. Why are there so many eagles here, Dave? Well, a whole lot of things. Uh, you can see it's quite a windy place. Wind comes right up this valley, and as these rocks warm, you get a thermal, hot air that rises. That allows these eagles to open their wings. They don't have to flap, and they can just circle up here looking for food. As well, lots of perches, lots of things to eat down there. This really is the Valley of the Eagle. Today, what role do eagles play in this landscape? Oh, good question, Stacey. They play a really important role. They're top predators, so they eat a whole lot of different things, uh, mammals especially, sometimes birds, uh, and dead things, carrion, uh, animals that have died or have gotten sick, and also animals that have been hit and are on the side of the road. So very important animals, which are eagles. Oh, do you see that one up there? I think that's a big old one. Let's just double check. So wedge-tailed eagles change their colour as they get older. First year birds, up to about two years, have very pale brown feathers on their backs and on tops of their wings. As they get older, those pale brown feathers turn darker, going rusty red, brick red, chocolate brown, and even to black. So when you see a wedge-tailed eagle that's black, that's about an eight or nine year old bird. And when they get black and oily with a sheen on them like a raven, that's a 10 or 11 year old bird, a real grandfather of the Australian bush. Today, how do I find out more about this magnificent animal? Well, Stacey, what I've found is if you sit quietly in their world and let the animals come to you, you can learn all you need to know directly from them. 